Chris, what is our second main topic today? This comes from Jerry M. Hi, John. Big fan of the show. With the announcement of the cancellation of the Flash TV show, I couldn't help but think of when Marvel canceled Daredevil abruptly so contractually he could get the rights back into the MCU. With the Ezra Miller situation, could the star of the show actually be replacing Miller as the DCEU Flash? Would love to hear your thoughts. All right. Thanks a lot for, uh, for sending that in, Jerry. I, I have to disagree with you, though, on the comparison to the Daredevil situation. Netflix wasn't in interested in getting the rights back to Marvel as fast as they could. I mean, they, they were going to cancel that because they weren't getting any new subscribers because of Daredevil. Everybody who was going to subscribe to Netflix because of Daredevil had already done it. So, And that's just been their modus operandi for pretty much all their shows yeah. other than Stranger Things. They've treated that one a little bit special, thank goodness. So that was, really wasn't the thing there. But to the main point, they have finally said it's time to end Flash. Something they probably should have done a couple of seasons ago. But they finally decided, and a little bit abruptly in the sense that says, well, okay, we're not going to suddenly pull the plug on you now that season eight is in the rearview mirror, but you don't get a full season next year. You got 13 episodes. Going to cut a little bit short from, from what it, because remember, this is not a Disney Plus show or not an HBO Max show. This had full real seasons. Yeah. So they said they're going to cut a little bit short and that this comes from the folks over at CBR who said the following. The Flash's long run on the CW is finally coming to an end, according to The Hollywood Reporter. The CW has announced that The Flash Season 9 will be the show's last. The season will be somewhat abbreviated and only run for 13 episodes when it returns in 2023. Speaking about the cancellation, showrunner Eric Wallace said, nine seasons, nine years of saving Central City while taking audiences on an emotional journey full of heart, humor, and spectacle. And now Barry Allen has reached the starting gate for his last race. Damn it, if that isn't poetic, mm -hmm. it's actually better writing than The Flash show. Ooh, it is, so it that is very though. well written. Plus that's he got to meet well Ezra written. Miller. What's that? Plus oh. he got to meet Ezra Miller. I wonder. That's true. So, there was that lovely Flashpoint moment. So look, here's the thing. You asked the question, do you think maybe they're canceling it so they can get, oh, what's the kid's name again? Grant <laughs> Gustin? Yes, Grant Gustin, thank you. Um, so they can get Grant Gustin to go over it. Well, number one, they wouldn't need to cancel the show in order to do that. No. Right. Number two, if they wanted to do that, it's something they would have done a long time ago. Um, so no, I don't think that's it at all. I think it's exactly why I said earlier, it's a show that should have ended a couple of seasons ago. Look, I've said this before. I will say it again. I, when I look back three, four years from now, and I look back on the flash. I will look back on this show very fondly. I think this was a good show. This was a winner of a show. A show I had my doubts about. Serious doubts. I, Quite frankly, I'll call myself on it. I said it was a dumb idea. I did not think it was a good idea to do this show. And they did it, and it was enjoyable. Mm -hmm. And for many years, I enjoyed every week turning in to you know, watch what they were doing down there in Central City. I had a great time with it. But it is a show that, pardon the pun, ran its course. It, it, it had run out. It's, this show's run out of gas a long time ago. And it's time to just move on. While I totally believe that Grant Gustin is going to make an appearance in this theoretical Ezra Miller Flash movie. Mm -hmm. You like that, Chris? I, I said did. Theoretical. That was nice. Thank right. you. I appreciate you. Well, I do believe Grant Gustin will make an appearance in it, just like they had Ezra Miller make a quick appearance in that. No, they're not going to now make it the Flash CW show, the movie. They're, right. they're not going to do that. Um, Warner Brothers has shown a history they're not interested in doing that. That's why when they were making Superman Returns, they did not make Smallville the movie and go and get Tom Welling to play it, right? So no, Grant Gustin is not going to be the new Flash in the CW universe, nor should he. I think it was great as Flash for the type of Flash we had in that CW show. I do not think that Barry Allen, that Flash is a theatrical Flash. And I say that as somebody who's a fan. I'm a fan of the show. And I can't wait to see what Grant Gustin does moving forward. But yeah, no, the reason I believe this show is done is because it should have already been done. Rob, you hear about this there. This, hey, listen, when it's all said and done, this show did what very few shows do. Got nine seasons. Some of the best shows never got that many. When you look back on Flash, number one, what do you think about its cancellation now? And what do you think the overall legacy of the show is going to be? Well, I think, I think, like you said, it's probably time. I mean, there's only... TV shows can only, they're only worth so much. And when they, when they go so many seasons, it becomes ineffective from a cost standpoint to keep them going. Right. And so I think that, like you said, nine seasons is amazing. And uh, I know Eric Wallace and he's a great showrunner, and I've known him for 30 years. And uh, he did, I thought, some great stuff. 
And I'd love to see what Eric Wallace is going to go do as a showrunner next. But this show, it was a lot of fun. It really was the anchor for an entire television universe. You know, I mean, it came on the heels of, the, it was the Arrowverse universe, but Flash was kind of the heart and soul, you know, of that universe. And it spun off. You had the crossovers and you had all the different uh, uh, spinoffs from the show. And and I, I think as a television legacy show, this is a really, this is a really great show that everybody should be proud of. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I don't think that, that uh, it, it's time that it was gone, but I also don't think that, Grant Gustin would ever be the Flash in a movie. Like you said, he'll appear just like Ezra Miller appeared in the Flash TV series. Exactly. Uh, one of the crossover events, actually the Crisis on Earth X. Was it Earth X? Infinite Earths? One of them? Whatever the last. No, Crisis on Earth X was yeah. really good. Yeah, that was. <laughs> that was actually yeah, really so it was good. It was Crisis on Infinite Earths. Yeah. But, That's the one where they should But again, I just think that, that I, I mean, it isn't surprising that a nine season show is coming to an end. Right. And. You know, just remind everybody too. Like we we around here also have a very special place in our hearts for this show because one of the, of course, pantheon of villains of the Flash in the CW show was a character by the name of Block, played by our own Aaron Cummings. Heck yeah, that's so right. There, there's Aaron, and in, in uh, when she was in the Flash, I think it was like a year and a half ago or something. That might have been two seasons ago. I can't mm -hmm. remember exactly. So she was the villain of the week. The Block. They liked her so much that the script initially called for block like many villains in the show to die at the end but the last second change in mind they decided no no she survives and it's going to end with her being rushed to the hospital because they thought maybe they would bring her back yeah. they never did bring her back but they liked her so much they thought but about she's still out there nine. block is still out there maybe in 13 season episodes nine. to fill with aaron cummings who knows i mean mm -hmm. it could be really fun ship off the old block could be a new sitcom starring Boom. aaron ship cummings off the old block <laughs> i i like it well let me ask you guys this, i'm an idea though. man honestly we have seen crazier things happen right if you had to lay out a percentage chance that you know zaslav you know of course alan horn is now over there at wb kind of advising saying you know we do have a flash that not a lot of people watch but that the people who do watch really like and last i checked he hasn't been arrested in hawaii anytime recently yeah. yet yeah, yet. It's coming. We're watching you, Gustin. <laughs> what, what would you say are the percentage chances that maybe somebody could pull the trigger on that and say, okay, Grant Gustin is the new Flash in our movie universe. I'll start it off. I'll say 4%. I'm not going to say zero. If I can go super, super low, I'll say 4%. What about you? I'd go under 10. He's been playing Barry Allen, and he's been playing him very well since 2013. I mean, I'm sure that he's a song and dance man. He's a triple threat actor. This has been a great run for him, but I'm sure he wants to do something else at this point. Rob? Yeah, I just don't think he's, look, I don't think he's a big screen flash. He might be a big screen something else. But I, I think whenever you, whenever, if, if, if they were to replace Ezra, Ezra Miller with him, I think it would feel a little, and this is no, I do not mean to besmirch the actor in any way, but you go from the CW to the big screen, ah, I think it would feel a little asylum, maybe, a little bargain basement. By the way, I want to remind everybody about something some we might have lost sight of here. I believe, I may be a week or two off, correct me if I'm wrong. I believe it was the week after episode one of season one of the CW show, The Flash. <laughs> We're going into season nine. But about a week after season one, episode one of The Flash came out on television, they made the announcement that Ezra Miller was going to star in a Flash feature film. We're going into season nine. That film has still not come to screens. Chris Carr would have you believe that film still does not exist. It doesn't exist. <laughs> just, I just, just a reminder to everybody. Season one, episode one, announcing Ezra Miller's The Flash movie, going into season nine, still no Flash. The almost funny thing a is, decade ago. Almost a decade ago. I think the entire new regime at Warner Brothers wished that it didn't exist. They sure yeah, are acting like it. Today. They sure are acting like it. <laughs> All right, guys. Question is for you. What do you think about this? Have you been a Flash or Flash? Have you been a fan of the Flash like I have had been up till just a couple of years ago? Have you enjoyed this show? What do you think about the cancellation now? Maybe you feel like they're pulling the plug a little bit too soon. Maybe you're like me and you think they're pulling it a little bit too late. Whatever your thoughts are, what do you think the legacy of the show is going to be? I'm always going to look back on it fondly. Whatever you guys think, jump down to the comment section below and leave your thoughts there. We want to thank the sponsor of this video, Stamps.com. 
Now, guys, you don't need me to tell you that running a business, no matter how big or small, is an incredible stress. It feels like you need five of you for all the different directions you're being pulled in. And with all that, who's got time to go to the post office? Having to drop everything that you're doing to make a run to the post office is a major pain and drain on your day, especially when you've got more important things to do, like running your business. So stop mailing and shipping the hard way. Stamps.com is your 24-7 post office that you can access from everywhere. Skip the headache with Stamps.com. Stamps.com gives you access to all of the post office and UPS shipping services that you need right from your computer and get discounts you can't find anywhere else, like up to 30% off USPS rates and 86% off UPS. Stamps.com just makes your life easier, guys. You're up and running in minutes, printing official postage for any letter, any package, anywhere you want to send it. So guys, don't mail and ship the hard way. Sign up with Stamps.com today. Sign up with the promo code CAMP for a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the page, and enter the code CAMPIA.